I love the marathons. Uh, ran 18 of them. Um, took me eight or nine to figure out how to run them smart. Um, and I recall a couple where it was 80 to 90 degrees, but nothing like what happened in Sapporo. Um, the women's marathon was between 90 and 97 degrees Fahrenheit. The humidity was somewhere between 90 and 100 percent humidity and people dropped like flies. Um, that people actually finished was pretty impressive. Um, and you, you have to give anybody credit who ran this thing, but to win a medal in your third marathon, pretty darn impressive. That's what Molly Seidel did. Molly Seidel is a University of Notre Dame grad. I remember watching her running, uh, the 10,000, she was legendary with her cross country races and her hard workouts, but she also got injured a lot. And, um, she got into, uh, she got picked up by Saucony. Um, a friend of mine, Mark Bassadet brought her there. He was always very impressed with her. And then she went to Puma. Um, but in her first marathon, she made the U S Olympic team and she looked impressive. Her second marathon, she ran at the London Marathon, ran a 225.12. And in her third marathon, Molly Seidel decided that she was going to be in the battle the whole time. And that's what she was. That pack started out with about 50, dropped down to 25. Then it was down to 12. And then there were three. Molly Seidel, actually four. There was, um, um, let's see, the Israeli, Ms. Um, Salt Peter, and I'm going to get her first name so I don't screw it up. Um, it was uh, Lorna. Lorna's done quite well in the past, but um, Lorna Salt Peter, Molly Seidel, Bridget Kosky, the world record holder in Paris, Jeff Chichir, the half marathon world record holder, were duking it out. And with uh, 5K to go, Lorna stopped running and started walking. She would eventually finish um, in right around two hours and 41 or two hours and 48 minutes. And um, Molly Seidel found herself in the bronze medal position. Um, and she kept pushing and pushing. Um, the battle up front was Paris Jeptichir testing and testing and trying to decide if she could break Bridget and Bridget was having trouble with the heat. Paris Jeptichir with less than 2K to go broke 16 seconds between them and went one, ran 227.20 for a seasonal best. Bridget Koskai, again from Kenya, Kenya went one, two, 227.36. And in third place, Molly Seidel, 227.46. Molly's only the third American woman to medal in the Olympic marathon. The first one, Joan Bernard Samuelson in 1984, when Joni took the lead at somewhere uh, around five or six miles and didn't look back. And the, uh, the second one in bronze was Dina Castor uh, in 2004, who ran the fastest 10K last split of anybody in the race. Uh, she was fearless in that uh, Athens was terribly, terribly hot, almost as hot as uh, is, uh, Tokyo. Um, but congratulations to Molly Seidel. Uh, in fourth place, Rosa Tereje from Ethiopia, 228.38. Fifth place, Volhag Mazaranik from Belarus, 229.06. Uh, Volha is one of the youngest uh, people in the race. She did quite well in two um, uh, in uh, world championships, and she's one of Central Europe's top athletes. Uh, and in sixth place from Germany, Malat Islak Kajeta, 229.16. But a lot of the top athletes were in the race and had a, a very difficult time. Congratulations to Paris Jepticher, uh, gold medal. Bridget Koskai, silver medal. Molly Seidel, bronze medal. Molly is going to start the Falmouth Road Race this coming weekend in last place. And every person that she passes during the race there'll be a donation made to a charity. I think that's kind of cool. Molly, we 
would love to interview you and you are a lot of fun. Talk to you soon. And uh, we're going to get to our next event. We're now in the evening session, day nine. This is the final track session of the Olympics, one that I always feel a bit forlorn about. Um, we start with the uh, final of the women's 10,000. And the big question was this. Safan Hassan, was she going to show up? Which she did. Uh, could she win a medal? Yes, she could. Could she win the whole thing? Big question. Uh, it was terribly, terribly hot. And uh, it didn't let up at all. And people were dropping out like flies. Um, Helen O'Beary uh, dropped off the lead group. Uh, Francine Yonsamba, uh, you remember her? She's a top 800 meter runner. Had run in the uh, 5,000 and been DQ'd um, for a lane infraction, which still befuddles me. She finished fifth in uh, 30, 41, 93, a national record. Sixth place was Irene Cheptai from Kenya, 30, 44, a personal best. Fourth place, Helen O'Beary, 30, 24, 27, a personal best. It came down to Matenzabet Kade, who had led most of the way. Uh, Kalkidan Gezahengne, who used to run for Ethiopia and medal there, now with Bahrain, and Safan Hassan. And Gezahengne and Hassan just hung on good day. And I think Potenza Bet, you know, who's the world record, although she broke Safan Hassan's world record of 2906 with a 2901 six, uh, less than, uh, what, 128 hours later, last fall, uh, she wanted this medal bad. She wanted to bring this medal back to Ethiopia. She had taken silver to Hassan before and she wanted something different. It just wasn't to be. Um, Safan Hassan ran a 59 second last lap and went 29.55.32. Kavkadan Gezahengne took the silver in 29.56.18. But Tensebet today, Ethiopia, 30.01.72. 25 laps is difficult to run in any weather uh, when it's close to 100% humidity and over 90 degrees on the track. It's a death march. Um, Emily Sisson of the U.S., the first U.S. finisher. She was in 10th place in 3109.58. Eilish McColgan, ninth place, Great Britain, 3104.46. Only seven sex, seconds off her mother's. Liz McColgan's record for 1991 of 30.57. Uh, in 12th place, Carissa Schweitzer, 3119.96. And in 13th place, Alicia Monson, 31 21 36. Um, Alicia and Chris ran pretty darn close to the times that they ran in the US trials. So two hot 10,000s in a row. But it was an immensely satisfying race. Safan Hassan has medaled in all three uh, distance disciplines the 1500, she took the bronze, and in the five and the 10, she took the gold. So hats off to her. Women's high jump was a very satisfying event. You had Maria Lazenskane competing um, for, well, she competes for Russia, but she does compete for Russia because Russia is not recognized. Nicole McDermott from Australia, who had just cleared 201 and two meters. Yaroslava Mahuchik from Ukraine, who had cleared uh, 206 this last winter and uh, looked like the odds on favorite. Arina Garashenko from the Ukraine looked pretty good. Eleanor Patterson from Australia and uh, Vashti Cunningham. Uh, I also thought Yulia Levinchenko had a shot. It came down to Lazenskana McDermott and Mahushik. Um, Maria Lazenskana had a clear 204 to her delight, finally winning an Olympic medal. Uh, she took gold in, uh, from Australia. Nicola McDermott. A national record, 202, and she took the silver. And in third place, Yaroslava Mohuchik, who I think is just 20 years old, from the Ukraine, and she took the bronze. Uh, in fourth place was Irya Garashenko at 198. Uh, fifth place was Eleanor Patterson at 196. And Vashti Cunningham at 196. 
some great clearances, some wonderful announcing on the global feed, but uh, all in all, uh, 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 a very satisfying women's high jump. Our next event is going to be the men's javelin. And I, the, the, the question that's in my mind, what the hell happened to Johannes Vetter? Guy was throwing 94 meters this season and longer, and he goes 82-52. He, he just had a terrible day. But it came down to India's Niraj Chopra, 87-58, giving India his first track medal in 120 years. Yes, you heard that. 120 years, sports fans. Second place, Jakub Vladishek uh, from that javelin crazy country, the Czech Republic, 86-67, a seasonal best. In Vitislav Vesely, little better known than uh, our friend Jakub. Uh, he took the bronze in 85-44. Germany's Julian Weber was fourth in 85-30. And in fifth place, Arshad Nadim from Pakistan, 84-62. And in sixth place in Belarus, Alekise Kotkovets, 83-71. But again, the story is, Johannes, uh, you know, I love you. I just felt so bad that uh, you didn't get to perform at the level that we know you could have done. And uh, I think that it's, uh, uh, I think that that's, uh, it's sad when that happens. And so we hope to see Johannes. He's got, uh, you got a world championships in Eugene in 2022, Budapest in 2023, Olympics 2024. Johannes, I want to see you win a couple medals. All right. Men's javelin. Now we're at the final running events on the track before the Four by four relays, the men's 1500. Wow, what a race. That's what I'm going to say right now, and uh, I'll stick with it. But uh, it was, um, let me just talk you through some splits here. That's the thing that I think most people will be impressed with. So the 400 was hit in 56-2 with Jakob Ingebrigts up front. At the 800 in 151-8, kids, Timothy Chariot. And then they hit the bell in 233-6. You knew, you knew it was going to be fast. The questions were, had Timothy Chariot run the kick out of Jakob Ingebrigts and Josh Kerr? Abel Kipsang, Adele McCall, Cole Hawker. You know, Stuart McSween had put his way up front too. Um, Jake Whiteman was in there, but uh, he ended up finishing 10th and just not having a good race. Again, I think the heat is uh, a player in all these things and the humidity more than anything. But um, what it came down to is coming off the turn, Jakob Britson went by Timothy Chariot and the young Norwegian, um, the eye of his family, you know, eight kids in that family and his dad, Gert's been trying to find the perfect training methods. Uh, Jakob took gold, 328.32, a new Olympic record. Second place was Timothy Chariot from Kenya, 329.01, but not by that much because Great Britain and Scotland's Josh Kerr, 329.05, personal best. Josh, best race to your life. That last 150 was screaming. Uh, fourth place, Abel Kipsang, uh, 329.56 PB. Fifth place, Adele Michelle from Spain. I've watched Adele run for a while. Um, he ran 330.77. And again, a PB. In sixth place, Cole Hawker, the young American who uh, beat uh, Matt Centrowitz at the Olympic trials. 331.40 PB. Uh, seventh place was 331.91. And uh, Michelle Rosemies from Poland, 332.67. In eighth place, a PB. Um, Jake Hayward, Great Britain, 334.43. And in tenth place, Jake Whiteman, 335.09. A very satisfying 1500. I think Timothy Chariot 
um, is a very tough runner. I think Jakob Ingebrigtsen, this has been something he was focusing on. So happy that he ran the 1500 instead of the 5000. Um, I just think that, you know, he's, he, he's, he can run faster. And uh, it's nice to see him pick up a gold medal. But that's the men's 1500. And now on to the four by fours. Women's four by four, you know, US has really got to screw up to uh, lose a gold medal here. But they had Team USA. They had the super team. Uh, Cindy McLaughlin leading off. Allison Felix, second leg. Delilah Muhammad, third leg. And Ethel Mu, fourth leg. 3-16-85, seasonal best for gold. Poland, Natalia Kazmierik, Inga Baumgart, Vitan, Melzgoria, Halub, Kolik, and Justina Svieti Ursetic, European champion at 400. 320, 53 national record. Poland has a great four by four. They have just a, a, a pride of women 400 meter runners, too. Jamaica, uh, Ronisha McGregor, Janiv uh, Russell, Sharika Jackson, Candace McLeod, 321, 24. And then on Canada, they were fourth place. Alicia Brown. Madeline Price, Kira Constantine, Sage Watson, 321.84, seasonal best. Fifth place was um, Great Britain, Anna Peepee, Jody Williams, Emily Diamond, Nicole Jurgen, 322.59. Um, again, I thought the Brits would probably medal. And then in sixth place, uh, in a national record, 323.74, Netherlands, Lieke Klaver, Lazan DeWitt, Laura DeWitt, Femke Bull, they will medal in an upcoming world championships. Uh, that team is just screaming. But again, U.S. takes gold, women's 4x4, four four, and we're coming down to the last track event. All right, last track event. Men's 4x4. Four four. If the U.S. had lost this one, I'd be throwing things at the computer but the U.S. didn't win. Michael Cherry led off. Great leg. Michael Norman. Second leg, Rice Dedman. Third leg, Rye Benjamin. Anchor, 255.70. Seasonal best. They were smoking. U.S. took gold. Netherlands, Lee Marvin Bonavicia. You know, Lee Marvin is one of the more spectacular egos on the track and the pictures and his performance. He is an entertainer. And I hope it says so on his visa. He led off Terrence Agard, then Tony Van Diepen, and then Ramsey Angela, 257-18. Awesome, Netherlands. And in third place, Botswana, Isaac McWalla, the uh, veteran of the group, handed off to Babaloki Thibi, Zibion Ngozi, and Bayapo Nadori, 257-27. What a smoking time. Fourth place, uh, Belgium was uh, right there at uh, 257.88 national record. Alexander Doom, Jonathan Sakur, Dylan Borley, and Kevin Borley. They were missing one of the Borley brothers. They were 257. Fifth place, Poland, Darius Kowalczyk, Karol Zaluski, Mateusz Zen Zenzak, and Katajan Tuzinski. 258.46 seasonal best. In sixth place was Jamaica. Uh, Damish Gay, Christopher Taylor, Jaheel Hyde, Nathan Allen, 258.76. It, uh, it was a pretty uh, satisfying men's 4x4. Four four. Uh, not just because the U.S. men ran well, but they did. Um, it was fun to see Botswana and the Netherlands in the mix. We have one event left on the entire Olympic schedule. That'll be for day 10, and that's the men's marathon.